folks, welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. Today I'm going to be doing a haul for you. This is a TJ Maxx haul. If you'd like to see this, please continue watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. All right, let's get into it. Okay, first of all, I went with a friend to TJ Maxx. He needed to get a clipper, like a tiny little clipper for his um, cuticles. And I was like, oh, I know the perfect place, TJ Maxx, so go there. This TJ Maxx turned out to be a treasure trove of amazing stuff. First of all, so I saw this hat and I was like, asked my friend what he thought, and he's like, oh, that's so ugly. And I was like, okay, well, I don't care what you think. It's my, my money, my hair, my head. So I bought it, and it was $12. So it's black, and it's felt, and it has this little, like, hoof on top. And I liked it, so I was like, oh. So I, I looked at the price tag, $12. I was like, oh, $12, I'll just buy it. So I get it, I bring it home, and then last night, or yesterday during the day, I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear that hat. So I take the hat, I take the tag off of it, and I realize it is a Kate Spade hat. So this is like a $300 hat that I got for $12. Let's all just soak that in for a minute. Isn't this so cute? And I had no idea that it was a designer hat. I just saw it and I was like, oh, this is so cute, I'm gonna get it. And then when I saw the label, I was like, wait, did I really just get a Kate Spade hat for $12? I did, I did. All right, so I'm gonna put my ears on because I'm actually, I got some like face stuff and I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna like do a little test as we do this. Okay, so this is moisturizing lip balm and this was $2. Normally $3, this is from Maybelline. And I think I actually have this one, or I've used this one before, but I don't know, I, I'm so crazy. I have so many lip, like, moisturizers and lip creams. Is this SPF? Eight hour moisture, okay, this is not SPF, which I normally always have everything have SPF in it. Um, but I just, I don't know, I like the color, even though it's, probably just like a clear color anyways. Um, let me see if I've tried those. Okay, I don't think I've tried this and this is very moisturizing. Ooh. Can you see that? Oh my god. Mmm. Ooh, that just made my lips feel so juicy. Mm. It's had like a sexual moment. <laughs> okay, next up, I needed hair ties. Um, so these were originally five, and I got them for four. And they're they're the ones that look like little those little keychain things, you know. But I used to get these all the time, like a year or two ago. And this came with five, no six actually. This came with six. Um, two of like the light pink, Ooh. two white, and then two gray. So yeah, and it came in this cute little container. I can never have enough too much hair ties. I really liked these for a long time, and I forget why I stopped using them. To be honest, you know they're like there's just stuff that you don't know why you just stopped using, but you did. Um, but I saw those and I was like, oh, it's like a cute little container. Why not get that? All right, so next up for extractions. So when you do have a blemish and you want to extract it yourself, what you need to do is you need to first make sure that the blemish is ready to come up, and then you need to make sure that you sterilize the area. Never use your hands. Your hands are just teething with bacteria. Your nails are teething with bacteria. Um, if you are going to extract the thing, you want to use a tool, and you want to make sure that you clean before, you clean after. You want to make sure you tone the skin, um, and then I would always recommend putting like a little blemish cream on. So I just had a facial myself, so I haven't like needed to use this. But this is an extracting tool, which I recommend if you're going to, you know, extract like a pimple or a blackhead or something, that you do this. But you always want to make sure that you do it in like a proper way. And if 
like if you can afford it get a facial go on Groupon they're so inexpensive on Groupon okay so this is a little tool and this was $3.99 um, I just think it's always important I have a bunch of them at home and I don't have any now that I'm like living in a hotel in Massachusetts so I was like hey let me get that okay so Elba Botanical Hawaiian Body Scrub I've never used this particular item but I've used the face um, the papaya face mask from them is one of my favorite and I actually just bought that at TJ Maxx like a week ago um, so you can find their stuff there let me just oh so it's it's unopened which is really good um, if you do get stuff at like TJ Maxx Marshalls like if it's unopened that's like oh okay so this was $2.99 compared at $12 so this is a body scrub I think it's just very important to scrub your body always make sure you get off the dead skin that's gonna you know show off your new beautiful baby skin underneath sunscreen so um, this is one of my favorite sunscreens I just and they have a face one and I, I don't the face one is supposed to like make it so that your pores, it doesn't break you out. Um, it's supposed to be like non-clogging of pores. I don't know how well that works. Um, I do like this a lot though and I have, oh my god, I probably have like two in my car at all times. Um, you want to make sure you use as much sunscreen as possible all the time. But when you're in your car especially, always sunscreen your arms, your back of your neck, your ears, your ears and your nose are the most susceptible for getting skin cancer. So you always want to make sure you put sunscreen on your ears, your face, your neck, like always this area. Like nothing bothers me more when I see ladies and they have tons and tons of skin damage here from the sun it's like oh that's so preventable um but your hands too always make sure because you're holding a steering wheel you're in a car which is essentially you're like in a mirrored box like driving in the sun so always make sure you do your hands and stuff uh so this was 4.99 compared to seven dollars i personally like this brand but any sunscreen that you like is good and wear it all the time and always have it in your car so next up these are Swiss Co Pro for self grip hair rollers, thermal lining for quick blow drying. So this was $4.99 and this came with four of them. Um, so I do, I'm actually cutting my hair. So I took out my extensions and I'm cutting my hair. So I am going to be doing more pinup hairstyles and I did order actually some of these on Amazon, but the ones on Amazon I got were much smaller. So these are really good for volume. So I was like, you know what, for five bucks, I'll pick up four and see if they work for me. And you can always return stuff to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods if you do not like it. They're pretty good about that. All right, so next up, this says, hello, gorgeous. And it is by Tender Love and Carrie, and this was $14.99, originally $30. Why I liked this was because it has handles. I like that there's a zipper in the back. When you open it, you can hang it if you want, which is nice. There's another pocket. I liked that there were these pockets that you could, you could put stuff in and it's, it's see-through. So you can, you know, you can put all of your, like, your stuff in there and then you don't have to, you know, like open it. You can just look in and see it. And I like that, especially because I'm like living in a hotel right now. You know, I have limited counter space and I have a lot of toiletries. <laughs> my, um, my best friend Julie was here like a few days ago and she was like, damn, Chris, you got to... You had a lot of stuff going on in this bathroom. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know. I have like a lot of different stuff. Um, and I didn't even bring that much with me. I'm just like, I'm almost like a hoarder when it comes to like beauty supply stuff. Cause I always want to try stuff. I always want to be like, oh, like let me try that. And then if I like it, I normally will keep it. If I don't like it, I'll normally gift it or return it. But this is funny. She's like, you get a lot of products. I'm like, I know. Um, so yeah, so it looks like this. And then you can just hang, so you can hang this on the door and then you just have all your products. Um, or if you're going on a little trip, just do that. And at first I was like, oh, I don't need this because I have so many travel bags. But I was like, I don't really have that many with me here. So this is good. I'm happy I got that. Next up, actually, okay, I wanted to do some like sampling for you guys. Okay, so this is a mask.
and this was $4.99 compared to $8 and this is a charcoal face mask get hydrated activated charcoal is known for its detoxifying properties treat yourself with a weekly pampering fix leaving your skin fresh and happy made in Australia all right um, so yes yeah, so I wanted to try uh, okay never do this whenever you take a face mask like this you want to scoop the stuff out you want to put like uh, why didn't I bring a scooper with me you want to scoop the stuff out like even if you just use like a spoon you know I'm gonna I'm gonna go get a scooper All right, I'm back. So uh, this scooper I have actually came with another face mask. And what I do is you just take, take some out. And you put it on your face. Oh! It just totally got all over my shirt. This, so this is a lot uh, creamier. <laughs> it's all over my shirt um, than expected. But what I do is I just take it out of the pot and then put it on your face. You never want to put your hands in the pot because you have bacteria on your hands even as like as clean as your hands could be. You don't want to do that especially if like you're working at a spa or if you have multiple people. Ooh, so right off the bat this is very creepy. It's almost, I wouldn't say it's watery because I feel like that's a bad term to use, but it's very creamy. I mean it came out and it went all over my shirt um but yeah very important so I got this tool inside of uh, another face mask that I had gotten from Burke Williams but you can get them online or you can just use a spoon very easy but yeah so that's the face mask um I really am into charcoal I like drinking charcoal it's good for detoxifying your liver I also use a charcoal toothpaste it's a very good way of naturally getting I got my nails done yesterday and I'm really not sure how I feel about them. What do you guys think? I haven't had like short square nails in a really long time, but everything, I told her I wanted really, really short nails and this is like what I got and everything keeps getting trapped under them. So I think after, I think after my nails are like completed for this, like after in two weeks or three weeks or whatever, I'm probably just going to take these out. All right. Next up. So Amika leave-in cream this is a sea buckhorn berry this is originally $26 and it was $13 I love this brand love this brand they sell it at Sephora I've never tried the leave-in cream though um, I actually did a conditioner on my hair last night and I'm gonna do another conditioner after I'm done filming this and then I will try the leave-in conditioner actually no fuck it Let's just try it right now. Come on, pop up. I hate these damn pop up things. What is that? It's like pressed to pop or something. How do you do this? Come on, pop up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, so it looks like that. I have like no hair left after I took my extensions out. Mmm, it smells really nice. Okay, so I love I love this company because their stuff smells. Oh my god, like it I can't even describe what it smells like, but it just smells so good. So I saw this there and I was like, oh, I know that brand really well. So I got it. 26 bucks. Can't beat that kind I mean 26 bucks and I got it for 12. Can't beat that kind of deal, you know. Nothing to go. Alright. Next up, so this is a Betsy Johnson. Um, this was originally $38 and I got it for 10. It's funny because this tag says 38, so I mean that's how much they were selling it for, but this says it's compared to 18 um, and it's sold for 10, but really you could have spent 40 on this um, at Betsy Johnson in their heyday. Uh, okay, so this is a makeup bag, as you can tell. So this is what the inside looks like, flowers. And then the outside looks like just 
little rainbow sprinkles. I just think it's a really cute makeup bag. Not like I needed any more makeup bags, but it's really cute. I love Betsy Johnson. I just think all of her designs are so cute. When I was in college for fashion, she was like one of my biggest inspirations. I just love her. All right, so next up I have another hat. So I got this for $8. This is, says it's compared to $14. And I'm realizing that there is some dirt on it, but whatever, it's a hat. So it's pink. And then it has lashes on it. I just thought that was so cute that it has lashes on it. And I love the color pink, you know, it's like my favorite color. So I saw it and I was like, God, it gets that. Next up, I got some brushes. So I don't have many brushes here. Um, and when I saw that they had Real Technique brushes, I was like, cool. So this is a Real Technique eye, and this is the starter set. Um, and this was $7. So for $7, I got one, two, three, four, five brushes. I have some face mask under my eye. Um, so for $7, I got five brushes and I got the travel case. I'll open it for you guys so you can see it. Um, but I do like Real Techniques. I do have to say that they are a very um, inexpensive brand but I do think that they do have good brushes. However, I did have a stippling brush one time that completely fell apart, like I bought it, and then I used it and the entire head fell off of it. And then I tweeted at them thinking that they would like send me a replacement and they sent me back so many questions. They're like, well, where did you buy it? When did you buy it? What were you using it on? And I was like, it's your product and it literally the entire head fell off so I think they should have just sent me a new one but and like for it not being that expensive I just thought it was like a ton of questions I was like okay whatever um so this is the little case that it comes with I'm probably not going to use the case I've gotten cases from them before and I haven't really used it but these are the brushes so very basic brushes that um I probably, I mean, I'll, I'll attempt to use some of them, but uh, I, would, I would assume that these three would be the ones that I would most use. But yeah, I mean, seven bucks, can't go wrong. And then this, little, this actually stands too. So you can, you can like make this stand if you wanted to do your makeup. I also found these from Real Techniques. So these are the Real Techniques base. So this is more of doing, oh, and on the back it tells you everything. So if you're new to makeup, it tells you like exactly what each brush is for. And then they do have tutorials online. So this was $8 and I got these four brushes. I use, a, I use um, for my blush on a daily basis or whenever I do my makeup, a Real Techniques brush. And I also do like their bigger brushes. So I definitely will use, I'll probably use all four of these brushes in my regular rotation. And they are extremely soft for, I think that they're really good quality for the price point. I and mean, you really can't get like a better deal than that. Okay, so next up. I first have to say that this is leather. <laughs> so I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, why, why are you buying leather? Um, I know, I'm evil. I should like I should not be contributing to the leather industry. Um, and I wish that I was not. And I might actually be returning this, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I have another bag from this company, like a smaller bag, and I absolutely love it. It's like my favorite bag. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God. Um, I like it because it's very, very lightweight. It has these awesome zippers. It's very big. So like you can put, I'm going to be going to school soon, as you guys know, to be an esthetician. So like I could put my laptop in here. I could put a lot of books in here. I could put a lot of stuff in here and it's very lightweight and chic. So this was a hundred dollars and it was, it was compared at 140, but I believe it was actually probably a lot more because I do know this brand. Um, I wish it wasn't leather. That was like my main thing is I was like, Oh, I wish it wasn't leather. Um, but the ones that were pleather, I really did not like so if you guys do have suggestions for non leather like accessories and bags I would love to hear them because like I really do not want to contribute to the like leather industry um, but I just loved the bag so much that I was like you know 
it's just it's hard you know it's hard when your morals and your fashion sense don't match up but I really loved it I just love this bag I think it's really nice so if I do end up keeping it I will feel bad but it will like be used a lot it's not like I'm somebody who buys a bag and then like you know uses it like one time um, but if you can find leather alternatives, I always suggest doing that. Um, but I just loved that bag. I was like, God, okay. So this shirt was $10. And I'm just going to use this as like a sleeping shirt. So it's a size medium. I believe this was in the men's section. Um, but I feel like um, this is not a man's medium. I feel like this is definitely a, a woman's medium. Uh, I just liked it because I love sleeping in like comfy t-shirts. I mean, I'm wearing like a comfy t-shirt right now. I have so many clothes, but I feel like I tend to just wear like, you know, t-shirts and stuff, especially when I'm at home. Okay. So this is, this was $9, originally $12. This is from NYX Cosmetics and this is the Simset 02. So it looks like this. You see that so this came with three colors and it looks like that and I will swatch these so I really loved this nude color okay so this is simply nude so that's a very nudie pink I like that a lot Next up, this one I really love. I'm like super into mauve pinks right now. So this one is a mauve pink, and this is called First Base. That's really pretty. So it's just like a light pink, and I like these like kind of like crayony ones. And then kind of threw me is that they had this one in it, which is Simple Vamp, which is kind of interesting. But I love that color as well. So they threw in kind of some, um, you have like your soft colors and then they threw in a vamp. So I was like, well, that's nice. But for nine dollars, you really can't beat it. I just really lucked out at this particular um, TJ Maxx. I feel like I found so many deals. Okay. I also, I bought some other stuff. My friend that I was with, he gave me cash because I have a TJ Maxx card. And if you use your TJ Maxx card, you actually get $10 for every $100 you spend. Is it $10 for every $100, $10 for every $200? I don't know. But you get money. So he just gave me cash and I got some stuff for him, which only totaled like $20. Um, but then, but I'm not going to show you guys that stuff. Um, and then this is the last thing I got. Okay. So this is a book by Mac. And this one still had the shiny cover on it. There was another one that didn't. But this retails for $50 before tax. And it didn't have a tag. So I was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, this doesn't have a tag. Can anybody, like, help me? And the ladies were so super nice that helped me. And I ended up getting it for $16.99. Which I was so happy about. Because I was like, if this... I was like, I even said, I was like, if this is more than, like, 20 bucks, I'm probably not going to buy it. Um, but so it has the, so it has this, the case, but I'm going to take this off just to show you guys. So it's not as shiny, but it looks like this. And this is what the back looks like. And then it's a picture book, pretty much like a coffee table book, all about like Mac. It says miles of Mac and it just goes over, ugh, this is kind of hard to show you guys. Um, but it just goes over like bunches of different like Mac makeup looks and stories and just everything and i just think it's beautiful i love hair i love makeup i love to like look at stuff like this so when i saw it i was like oh my god i was like this is so nice it was funny because there was one other one and the one other one had like <laughs> nail polish spilled all over it and the lady went to go grab the other one and i was like oh well like that one doesn't have the price tag either because i looked and then um they almost gave me the other one and i was like oh no no i wanted the one with the cover on it and then she was like oh this one's fine and i'm like it actually has nail polish <laughs> spilt all over it she was like oh i thought that was the design i was like no that's nail polish um, so yeah, that is everything that I got at TJ Maxx on my TJ Maxx haul. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, um, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me any comments. If you have any ideas for other things you want me to review or look at or do, let me know. Um, I'm going to have some more stuff coming to you guys soon. All right. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.